So we've had a, a really interesting session. There were some very stimulating things which were said, and I think even the questions from the floor highlighted quite a number of, of issues which certainly need to be addressed about, for example, that the duty of care is a minimum, if you like, and a lot of the organisations really want to go beyond that. Um, the, the idea that the priority for all agencies and, of course, their employees, their, their aid workers, is the beneficiaries. So to what extent is anything legal, any duty of care, going to be a restraint on what it is the beneficiaries need? The example from the, the floor about um, if a court, gate, court case gets lost and it seems incumbent on all agencies to have uh, well-reinforced Land Rovers is going to drive them out of business. Will they actually want to be driven out of business? I don't think so. I think they will find ways um, to, to make sure that they can continue to carry on doing what their organisation is established to do. And, you know, Christine, we, mm. in recent work by People in Aid, we've talked about acceptable risk. Yes. Um, so over to you on that, yeah. perhaps. No, I mean, it was a, <clears throat> a recent study um, that we did on duty of care, and some of the agencies were talking about the risks they take, and they measure it through the, the terminology of acceptable risk, um, which isn't really measurable. It's not very objective. In fact, it's quite subjective. And so that was well established that we knew we needed to be doing more on this area. Um, <clears throat> but when we think of HR, and I think this is what I want to bring in, the importance of HR on this subject, and, um, and how actually by looking at these risks, by looking at the things that we were talking about today, it's an, it's an enabling factor. It actually brings quality of work. It, 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 rather than a restriction, which is what we've often been talking about. And when I think of HR and I just think of a couple of things I can highlight, um, some of the work that we're doing in the organisation I'm working in now on this is looking at the, how we can be more effective in recruitment and recruiting the right people in the right way and briefing them and preparing them for their role before they go. There's nothing worse than going out to the field and not knowing what you're doing. And in these circumstances, that is completely unacceptable and negligent. So it's empowering. Some of these things we're asking people to do is good practice and enabling. And that's, that's what I want to say, really. That's a, that's a good thing to say. And there is a report that you've written, if I'm allowed to advertise it, on the People in Ed website, and it's called... The Importance of HR for Staff Working in Hazardous Environments. Perfect. Read it now. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the A4ID SMI. Sorry, I <laughs>